Hello everybody, my name is Sniping is Fun, and I welcome all of you back to this next video. I'm going to present all of you here on YouTube a new series of videos that I basically, about a week or so ago, told you all would be coming to my channel. The same type of videos I did years back when the last game in this series came out, Smash Brothers Predictions and Speculations. The next Smash Brothers is on the way, Smash Brothers 5, Smash Brothers Switch, and just like I did a couple years ago, from around 2000 and like, 12 to about 2014 when the game released smash brothers 4 i did tons of speculation tons of predictions tons of different things for that game i predicted and speculated on characters on stages on items on assist trophies on various different things i went my channel was almost flooded with my channel was basically a smash brothers channel during those years for the at least the mo sorry at least for the most part and now with a new smash brothers coming on I have to. I have to get on to speculating on characters and stages and music and assist trophies and items and all this other stuff. And this right here is going to be the start of character speculation with my first Super Smash Bros. 5 character speculation. And obviously you're going to see in the title eventually when I switch the thumbnail to a custom one. The first one I'm going to pick with is going to be Shovel Knight. I started off when I did the DLC, when I did the, the voting ballot, the character ballot for Smash Bros. 4. I started off with a third party character with Simon Belmont. This time, I'm going to be starting off with another third party character, you know, Shovel Knight. And with these videos specifically, I'm doing them differently, obviously. I haven't really been on my computer lately to do all the slideshows and the pictures and my voiceover with the recording my voice and everything. So it's not going to happen, at least as of now. My videos are going to be like they usually are, me in front of the camera talking to all of you. With some sort of visual aid, like a picture or something in the background or something that I'm going to be presenting to you guys. Because for now, that's how I've been doing my channel and that's how... It makes it easier on me because I haven't really been on the computer a lot lately to do all the custom stuff. That stuff is eventually going to come back on my channel and so on and so forth. But let's before this, is, this gets started, let's go for this character right here, Shovel Knight. And how I'm going to be doing this, it's going to be a long list of videos. It's going to be like 80 plus videos like I did with the character ballot. I'm going to be doing Super Smash Bros. 5 character speculation number, whatever it is, number 1, 2, 7, 8, 20. You know, the character's name, in this case, Shovel Knight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be talking about three different categories for these characters. One, why do they make sense to be in Super Smash Bros. 5 or Super Smash Bros. at all? Two, moveset ideas. Not a legit, like, full-fledged moveset. Like, you go online, like, oh, character name, moveset. No, I'm not going to do that. But, like, ideas for basic concepts of a moveset. Just to quickly give it to you, like, how they could potentially fight. And three, a percentage chance on how likely I could see them getting into Super Smash Bros. 5. I did that with those, the five lists, the retro characters, third party characters, and Nintendo characters. And I'm going to do it here too. And some characters will be higher up, some characters will be lower, but they all have at least a percentage chance, some more than others. So before this gets way out of hand, I've been talking about three minutes now, introducing you guys all to the concept. Welcome, everyone, to the Super Smash Bros. Sniping is Fun's Super Smash Bros. 5 character speculation. Number one, Shovel Knight. Now, why does Shovel Knight make sense to be, you know, in Smash Bros. at all? He had a chance, I think, at least as DLC with Smash Bros. 4. Because around the time Smash Bros. 4 came out was around the time his game came out. You know, his big indie game that was on everything from PlayStation, Xbox, to Nintendo. And he did get himself, you know, a DLC costume in Smash Bros. 4 because of his popularity at the time. But I don't think he really had that much of a chance back in Smash 4. It was still possible with the character ballot, but possible as in slightly possible, not very likely. Now it's a couple years later, they're heavily still pushing this game, and he's probably one of, if not the most popular indie characters in the gaming scene, but especially on Nintendo. His game has been on the last three Nintendo consoles, the Nintendo Switch, the 3DS, and the Wii U. And there is a potential chance that we could potentially see a sequel in the way. At least, I think Yacht Club Games is kind of speculating at that a bit. And obviously, that'll be on the Switch at some point, maybe even the 3DS. So, very likely, he, he, he still has heavy presence, heavy relevancy on, you know, Nintendo and, and in the gaming scene in general. And he is super popular and requested. And, before, and I'm going to say this right here, right now. I'm going to mention this a lot probably in this series. I value relevancy, recency, and use of character 
over popularity request and demand because anyone can be requested anyone can be you know popular or demanded for but only certain characters are really relevant at the time certain characters are really only used at the time so i value relevancy and all that or popularity and whatnot and i'm not saying popularity and request and demand is not important it is but it does not overtake you know relevancy recency as a major character in the industry and whatnot and quite frankly shovel knight why he makes sense for super smash brothers is because he is a very relevant indie character right now nintendo or otherwise and he is heavily requested to be in the game like i said on the switch the wii u in the 3ds's versions and he's one of the first third party characters to get an amiibo so that at least gives him a slight chance to being in this game at least that's why i feel he makes sense to some extent now, as for moveset ideas, I think his smash attacks would be basic, just shovel attack, like swinging the shovel. You know, standard, if you play the game, you know how he swings the shovel. You played the game, you do standard left, you know, left strikes, right swings and whatnot, the down thrust. Think like Link with the sword, but down with the shovel, because that's basically what he does to pogo stick down and break blocks and everything. So I think like in the air, down B and down A would probably be like his downward thrust with the shovel so his smash attacks all the a button attacks would basically be shovel swings shovel strikes type stuff very basic but it makes sense for his character because that's basically his bulk of his moveset made his main moveset in the game his special attacks is where it kind of gets a little bit more interesting because that would basically be i think where they're going to relocate all the relics and the sub weapons in the game the various you know the flare wand the propeller dagger, you know, the dust knuckles, you know, the throwing anchor, stuff like that. He'll throw the anchor, he'll shoot the fire across his head, he'll have some range attacks. Dust knuckles could be like his strong forward B move, like left, right B kind of thing. His propeller dagger could be like an up move or somewhere in the air, left, right, left, right B in the air and stuff like that. So it's kind of like you, you get unique movesets in the special attacks, and that's kind of where the, most characters in Smash Bros. get their unique attacks, is basically through their special attacks. Usually their smash attacks are kind of boring or basic, but you get really interesting when you get to like their special attacks. So like all the relics and sub-weapons you can buy throughout the game, like the Dust Knuckles and the Propeller Dagger, and Fennadagger! You know... The throwing anchor and the flare wand and maybe even the fishing pole. Maybe he can throw out the fishing pole and pick enemies up from off the ground and throw them or something. It'd be pretty freaking cool to see him do that. You know, that's where I think Shovel Knight's moveset will at least get unique. And in terms of a final smash, I think it, I mean, he. I haven't played enough Shovel Knight to really get a super ultimate attack from him himself. Maybe you can give him like super armor where he gets like the super gold armor and he just does like big attack. Like maybe think of like, you know, Arthur from like Ghosts and Goblins getting the mega armor and just attacking someone. You could do something like that. But I'm thinking a better idea would be he summons Shovel Knight and, you know, the order of no, <clears throat> the order of no quarter. And basically there's this, like think Mega Man special where you catch someone in an attack and then Shovel Knight comes down and Shovel Knight, I mean, it's Shield Knight, I mean. Shield Knight comes down to help Shovel Knight and defend themselves from the order and the quarter and the characters on the stage are in the middle of a big combat kind of thing. Or, you know, like Duck Hunts, Dogs, you know, Final Smash. Or you can basically just summon, you know, Shield Knight and just go on like some sort of supersonic attack running around the stage and double teaming people like Ice Climber style kind of thing. I... I, I think his final smash would either be a super powered version of himself with the gold armor, or it'd be him summoning characters from his game to do some super attack like Shulk and Mega Man or some sort of ultimate attack like a like a super sonic type thing, but multiple characters like an ice climbers thing where they're running around the stage and shield knights helping you beat up people and then maybe the ordinal quarter come in and start jumping on the stage and attacking people or something like that. I don't know. Because it'd be kind of cool to see Plague Knight and Spectre Knight and stuff like that make cameos if he's a playable character. It'd be cool to see them in the game as well. And that's the second thing. Now, the third thing is percentage. Given that he is a third-party character, their percentage chances aren't always, like, the, the best choices because any third-party can be picked. It's, like, third-party... Like, Nintendo characters, you can kind of easily speculate and make it seem like who is going to get in. Like, better than third-party characters because it depends on who is closer to Nintendo and who wants their characters in and who's better relevant with Nintendo at the time and stuff like that. And also, given that he's an indie character, we've yet to see an indie character in there... That might hurt his chances too, at least limit his percentage chances here because it's like we haven't seen a character from an indie game yet. But he is one of the major two, three indie characters alongside someone like Shantae to be in this game. And Shantae's going to be later in this list too. She'll be 
like number 20 or something. I don't know. I haven't ordered so far. She'll be eventually, I'll be eventually talking about Shantae. She gets her own interesting video talking about this topic. But like, I'm going to have to give, you know, Shovel Knight an 85% chance. He is one of the most popular indie characters. He's super requested, super relevant to Nintendo nowadays. But what's hurting him is when you get to see an indie character in there and given that he's a third party character, you can't really get into that 90% range without like really getting like major third parties that really, really are close to Nintendo. So I'm giving him a strong 85% range you know, 85% chance of being in the game. He's not guaranteed, but he's very likely, especially if they go for an indie character, and he's one of the top two choices to be in that category. But Shovel Knight, that is it. That is my character speculation for Smash Bros. 5, number one, Shovel Knight. Now, I'll put in the comment section what you guys think. Do you guys think those moves and ideas sound interesting? Do you think he makes sense to be in the game? Do you think he has a chance? What percentage chance would you all decide to give him, you know, for for this game like how, what percent chance do you think he honestly has to be in smash brothers 5 especially over smash brothers 4 now that he has at least a couple years to his belt and a sequel potentially on the way that's my number one character and i hope you always i hope you guys hope you guys all stay tuned for future nintendo third party retro indie all these various characters stages you know assist trophies costume ideas and everything i go on where this is the official start of my speculation for Smash Brothers 5. See you all later.